Children love games, video games, computer games, online games, and so now Israeli startups are using these precise methods to treat kids with disabilities and work on their physical and motor development. Now I'm playing the bubble bath game where I'm controlling Timoko's hands. Timoko is the monkey. I'm working on attention skills, on enhancing my mass and tone, expanding my range of motion. As an occupational therapist, I realized that children uh, really enjoying uh, the console, the computer games, the video games, everything that makes their motivation uh, high. So I want to improve their skills. I want to help them achieve their goals. I want to make them be better at what they're doing, but they need to like it. They need to enjoy it. They need to want to work and want to work real hard. Uh, and this is where the treatment and the uh, leisure time or playfulness comes together. So for the child, it's just having fun, and, you know, just playing in front of the computer, just like his peers, just like his siblings, but in an environment can, that we can really adjust to his abilities. We have 50 games, and the platform is designed to work with kids with a variety of disabilities. Motor disabilities like dyspraxia and hypotonia, uh, we have cerebral palsy kids with a very limited range of motion, can still play on a platform like they're using and playing on the whole screen. Uh, autistic children working on communication skills. The child wears these gloves, and this is how he controls the game. We track the shape and the color, and he moves the hands of the monkey, he collects fruits, he counts numbers, uh, he pops balloons. And our tracking technology enables a child with a very limited range of motion to play with small movements and work on his muscle tone or in, on his motion skills. So you can see that there is a very limited range of motion. I can still enjoy playing on the whole screen. All you need in order to play is a computer and a simple webcam, no large consoles required. And these entrepreneurs point out that the games do not replace traditional medicine, but instead complement it. And we're not replacing uh, the usual therapies that uh, those children in need uh, go through. It's just another tool. It's a very effective tool. It's an enjoying and engaging and motivating tool, but it's not replacing all the other tools. So we're playing the alien games, which designed to work on the coordination between two hands. The platform offers games for children over three. However, real age is not the only factor. The developmental age is what counts in order to be treated. If the child is 15 years old, but the developmental age uh, is lower, so we need to adjust the, not just the setting of the game and the, and the difficulty levels, but also the content, so it will be age appropriate for the child. So we put a lot of effort into um, creating a system, creating a platform that will be able to give a solution for uh, wide range. The games may be planned and monitored by the treating doctor or physiotherapist in order for them to follow the patient online and assess their progress. Teletherapy is a platform that we created uh, using our uh, engaging uh, virtual environment uh, and the goal here is to make the connection and the communication between the therapist at the clinic and the child at home connect during the week while the therapist, uh, the child is not in the clinic. So the therapist can, is able to monitor and track the progress of the child from distance. Therapists can remotely send a weekly plan for the parents to continue and practice at home. All the data is gathered, we track the progress of the child, so the child is having fun and playing, but actually practicing and working on his cognitive motion. And This Israeli startup ensures that by picking fruit, playing with a cartoon monkey, and targeting aliens, among others, children will enjoy a playful experience which will contribute to their development at the same time. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.